uh, flowing and then you see the weather like today and then the traffic in terms of the ferries human traffic and in terms of the big ships so all these have been challenges and so we came to assess what has, uh, has been done so far and what is going to be done in the next few days we have technical, technical, you know, technical teams led by the Navy who have been doing a fantastic job and so we have agreed in terms of the next few days what will happen given the advice we have received in terms of the technical aspects of this rescue operation and then thirdly we also would like to tell Kenyans what we are doing in terms of, in terms of having a long-term solution to this uh, crossing to the south coast. As you are aware, many of you may have read, we are going to do uh, what we call a cable-stayed bridge. Uh, last week, the Kenya government signed with the Japanese government how we shall do this cable-stayed uh, bridge, which is one of the issues which was agreed between Prime Minister Abe of Japan and our president when we went for ticket a few weeks ago. So that is now a reality. It's going to happen where vehicles and human traffic will be crossing uh, from this side to the south coast. Secondly, we are doing a, what we call a cable car with the private sector. We have a company from Austria. We have uh, provided them with land uh, through Kenha, Kenya National Highways to do a cable state car here, which will be ferrying about 320,000 Kenyans, you know, every day. And then thirdly, we have other infrastructure projects which also we'll be announcing shortly in the next two or three weeks. With that, we believe, believe that, that the ferries will not be required, required in, the in the future. future. But, before but before we do, we do those, those investments, investments, we are, we are still, still investing, investing in the ferries. In the ferries. For, For example, example you know, you know there's a national ferry which is which coming is in January, in January 2020. And then the plan for Kenya Ferry Services is to also bring additional three ferries in the next three to five years. So even as we are doing these alternative infrastructure projects for the long term, Kenya Ferry Services, we also do the investment as, are the, as, are, as indicated in their plan. And so we are here to tell Kenyans that all that needs to be done has been done it's being done right now we are collaborating with all the partners from wherever they are you saw an expert from sweden we have other experts coming from south africa in the next few days we have our experts in the navy and so we are not we are not renting in terms of the efforts being expended to make sure we bring up the bodies of mariam and uh, amanda and as of now, that's what we can say. As you know now, clearly this is a rescue operation, um, which we have to understand that there are some challenges which we are facing. But we have told the family that all that needs to be done will be done to make sure that that happens. We've been told that the next three days, the tide will be more favorable. And so we shall be maximizing our efforts in this regard. And so as of now, that's what I can say. Uh, as we continue with this very uh, challenging but critically important task of finding the bodies and bring them up as soon as possible. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much.